welcome to a special edition of Closet Confessions because we're going to another part of London where we're going to go into the storage unit. There is another aspect to my wardrobe of things that I feel I want to keep forever but I don't have the courage to get rid of. So today is a ruthless day. I've started up my Vestia Collective account and a Vinted account and I might have eBay too. And I'm looking at what I'm going to cull that Lila will never want. She changed the chops and changed the mind, but definitely she's never going to be my shoe size. And what am I just going to divest myself off to feel I have greater clarity in my current wardrobe? And also, what am I going to bring back into the wardrobe I have to give it a feeling of freshness? This is shopping in my storage unit. Yeah, but you have to consult everything. Tomorrow. All the shoes I'm going to get rid of. No. Lila, your feet are not my feet. Okay, any dresses below the knee? Yeah, because I can cut, like, make them shorter. How go. many coats do you have, Lila? Yeah. Three. Pinocchio! <laughs> Lila, there's a whole rail in the garage at home of your coats and Never jackets. Mind. Okay, we'll get rid of them then, shall we? Yeah, I think we should. No, because I like them. <laughs> oh, bad back. signal. Yeah, bad signal. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to start with a rail right in front of you. So this is something I bought and I bought it at my sister's in the country in Spain and I thought it was very good for country attire moment. If I go to Austria or Germany, I might wear that. I'm gonna keep it, but it is a storage moment. There are some shirts from Serena Butte that I had the collar taken off and I like that shirt. It's very nice to wear. You should come back, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna wear it. I've got this. I have never worn it ever, so that's gonna sell. We like the color. It's but a great color. I know, but I remember the sleeves were short, so I'm gonna sell it. Now this is a Zara suit that I adored, but I do remember the trousers don't fit me anymore. And I'm thinking, would I wear this as a blazer by itself? I don't yeah. think it's good enough. There's a thing here, buy less, buy better, is that sort of thing in the back of my head right now. And if I look at stuff I've got that I'm using and paying a monthly fee on as a storage unit, what am I holding it on to for? It was a very nicely made Zara jacket. I've had it for about eight years, but that time's gone. Why I keep this? <laughs> this has unreservedly managed to keep out of every curl over the last 30 years. And I think I keep keeping it for when I'm a granny. The cut is beautiful. The fabric is divine. Should I be bringing this back into my wardrobe and think how I'm wearing it? Yeah, because it's, challenge a, yourself. it's a challenge. I've got a lot of trousers that are old Celine trousers. And these ones are too big for me right now, but they might not be and they're beautifully cut. So that kind of thing I will keep. This is something I've had from Zara so long, it's time to go. Uh, really? Yeah, it is, because it's Maybe just... in black is very in right now. Is it? Yeah. You see, look, there you are. Sorry, I am the devil on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of perfect with this outfit. I know, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> there is nothing worse than trying something on and it looks good, and I don't have a mirror, and I have to choose to have you two as my mirror. <laughs> but I do know it's probably quite good. It's great with that. Is it? Yeah. We're going to keep it and bring it back in the wardrobe? Yeah. It's unbelievable how well it stayed looking good. I know, it looks great. Yeah, it looks great. And it's Zara. It's Zara at least about 12 years. This I somehow got in the summer. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get it off. That is a shirt from Zara I did like, but it's more for spring. And I think I'll keep it here and I'll have it for spring. I've got much better white shirts. But that collar, it's a sharp collar. And I don't actually have that sharp collar shirt at home. That's yeah. coming back home. These, you know, I change them to try and make them work and they they just they give me, they give me yeah. a nappy bottom. I find these gilets I don't love now because I just feel they're, t I feel tired, they're tired. It's not the look I want to go back to. That shirt dress I got from Oxfam. Mm. Do you remember? And yeah. I think what I need to do with this, it's going yellow though, do you notice? Mm. Yeah. I think I need to take off the collar. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a nice dress for summer. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's I mean, hard to cull in the winter though, isn't it, when you have summer stuff? It's something I've had for so many years and I don't wear. And when you fold it at the front, it just has a weird you can't do like a, a half slit. tuck. It looks that, back to front. Yeah. But then front to back is it back to front? Because I need to put a slit here. So if I tuck in the front, you don't have yeah. this, that's what I need. It's an S. Susanna moment. Yeah. All right. You know, I don't know what to do about this coat because it's very fitted. And Prada reintroduced this pattern last year, but they did it in a raincoat and it was a much broader shoulder pad. Lila loves it. I love the fabric. It's like I need to find a way to wear it. I think I'm going to take it home and think if I can wear it because it is cashmere. So beautiful. I see Susanna put shoulder pads in this to make this more wearable. And I don't think I've tried it since she did. Let's just 
rethink what we think about it. Yeah, it's great. I love that. Yeah. yeah. The story behind this is I was in Japan and I had heard about this kimono market. So after my 18 hour flight to Japan, I said to people I travel with, we have to go now. Can't even go to the hotel because the kimono market closed at 12. <laughs> and it was 10.30 we were at the airport. So we got there at 11.45. And I literally whooshed up and just, oh, get that, get that, get that. And this is one of them. So I never forget it. That's going to be started up. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying it. This one's... Do you know what? This will start a bidding war, Trini. <laughs> but with your little silver cough in the moment. But you see, that was a moment I did for so long and it's like, can I bring it back to where again? <sighs> okay, this is going. This is a boring navy theory jacket. I'm never gonna wear, that's so good. Yeah, no, I want three I'm gonna get rid of. These jeans from Zara, I'm never gonna wear. I'm gonna sell that on vintage. <laughs> Molly will be a buyer. <laughs> <laughs> These are too big for me. Oh. I think I've got to get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. They're really nice, Victoria Beckham. They'll be on Vestia Collective and they're a size 11, I'd say. <laughs> 10 or 12. Let's go. Let's go. Yes! Yes! I'm feeling the cleansing already! That is... I've never seen that before in my life. Yeah. It's quite a nice bomber style. Yeah. Do we think... You've done that moment. You've done that moment. Let's yeah. Rid of that. You've done that moment. Really. And these are the kind of coats where they sort of work I can't think that I should get rid of it. And I think even now, Lila could be wearing oh, this. Oh, Lila would live in that. Yeah. Although she is going through a phase of oversized, you see. And that's the trend is oversized, but this is too small for me. I think that oversized is gonna die down very quickly. So cool, Trini. Shall I take it out for Lila? Yeah. Yeah. It's just really nice, yeah, isn't it's it? so gorgeous. And this is vintage, because this I had a couple of years before I had Lila. So that's then 20, so, 20, um, 20 years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't be that. Wow. Where's it from? Prada, the trend. Oh, it's from Prada. Amazing. Very high waisted too. It's, yeah. it's so much better for somebody shorter and littler than me. But I don't think this is for Lila yet. It's too la ladylike. Yeah. So I think I shouldn't let her see it. She won't watch Comic Confession, so I'm not worried about that. Let's not have it in here for Instagram. We are a quarter of the way down the first, the first rail. rail. And okay. how many rails are there? This is what I should be wearing now. This is something I was obsessed with. It's an industrial size puffer. I mean, perfect for today, but... I know, but what do we think of it? It so wears me, doesn't I it? I mean, it is very... Is it detachable here? Yeah, I can Yeah, so I think that, that bit... Mm. I, can, I can do that and take it off. But would you ever do that? No, I'm not, no. I'm not doing that. So am I gonna sell it? Yeah. This is my going away outfit. Oh, yeah. This is my velvet blazer that I wore when I married Johnny and I was going away and I had a dress band open skirt. What I loved about this is the ruching of this. It's so elegant. It's so beautiful. Where's that from? I still wear it, dress band open. Should we think of a way to yeah, yeah. bring it back in the wardrobe? Because it's so hard to cull nostalgic items. And this, is, this is the thing. I'm going to say there's a list of things you don't have to cull. Your wedding dress, your veil, your shoes, your going away outfit, the outfit you wore when you christened your child if you had one, the shoes, the dress, I'm just thinking of have got <laughs> Things that bring back a memory, but you can only have up to five. <laughs> I've got some things here which are very special. I got, oh, this, oh, I wore this yeah. to the memorial for Lila's father. I think one day when we took look at dresses that Lila might wear, this was, you know, an incredibly beautiful. Prada did this collection where there were certain things where only made very few and this was one of them. It's gorgeous. It's so nice. And then this is even more rare. An old Dutch Cabana hand painted from the yeah. Cabana. Yeah. So yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. You know, number 87 of 150 from that collection. Wow. This is like, you know, an Adidas coat that we got. And I loved wearing this. I love the moment of it. I love the kind of vibe. Could it come out in the spring showers maybe? I think it's fun. That it is. <laughs> is it the person I am today and the person I want to be moving for? Or is it too busy? That's the biggest thing is I'm wearing less pattern money. Yes. Yeah. I don't see the pattern before I see myself. Okay. I see them sometimes so I could still wear it. Mm. And I haven't Not seen this really on anyone else. Though. Like so I haven't either. Okay, now do we or do we not get rid of Dracula? I feel like the only time we see it is on Closet Confessions when you're joking about it. <laughs> I mean, it is... Would you ever like 
wear it Walk out. the dogs. I'll tell you what I would if I yeah. could get my hands through. And that so why didn't ask thing. Susanna make a poncho out she of could, it? I mean, it's got this thing on it too. I could try, I could put on my skin through it too. And it would probably, yeah. And it might go for quite, you know what I yeah, mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. You know my friend Zandi? Yes. She always, when she looks at things, she keeps, and she last made me do a big colour by wardrobe. She makes me look at the um, seaming and whether it's become puckered. And if something's become puckered in the seaming, you shouldn't keep it. So I bought this jacket in Florence when I was with Lina in the summer in a secondhand shop for like 80 euros and it's Valentino. But I noticed when I got home the amount of puckering yeah. here, if this was new. I mean, I love the shape because the shape felt quite a big oversized mm -hmm. jacket. It's a real 80s. Jacket. Yeah, and it's a lovely colour. But what do we think? I don't think it necessarily looks tired because the blue is that kind of grey blue. blue grey yeah. blue. So where you think it's tired, it could just be the gradient of the jacket. Like. Yeah. And then also it's about wearing it differently. So would I wear it, do that, you know, with my silver thing? Mm -hmm. It's such a good colour. I love that mm. darker blue here. Mm -hmm. I think I could consider brooching. I think it's worth trying for spring. Yeah, with a wide leg white trouser. Yeah. So that's going on the spring room. You cannot get rid of that. I love yeah, that. We need to incorporate it back into yeah. things because this is kinder it's aga cheek. Beautiful. So cool. It is so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Do we need to bring it back in and just play style it, it up and play yeah. with it? Yeah. All right. This was never the colour that suited me. <laughs> This Eau de Neal didn't work with white. The only time I like it is in a press picture I've got. I like it, but if you're saying it doesn't work with a white trouser, I don't know what yeah. else. Well, would I wear it like this? I mean, would I winterize it? Yeah, I think I need to stop treating it like a summer jacket. Would mm. you take the white buttons off? Is that making it more summery? And put a more tonal button on? Yeah, I think with navy it could work, and with a navy belt. Yeah. You know. It's a gorgeous jacket. Should we bring it back for a review? Yeah. Is it a Zara friend? No, it's no, Lynn Moray. That summer or keeping it. Okay. Oh! Case in point, would you like to see my wedding up? It's worth us taking it out. Yeah. So has it been taken out since I got married, which was 30 years or 25? 1998. So there was wow. a dress that went under this. Careful of falls oh to yeah. And the thing is, it's made of ecru, but it looks more like cream now. Oh, wow. Like it's that. so beautiful. Yeah, the colour's changed a bit. And then I have the strapless beaded dress on the <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving that for a second. Oh. Trini, where's it from? A woman called Elspeth Gibson, who was a designer at the time. And when I had it made, I had eight grown-up bridesmaids and they each wore a version of the same dress according to their body shape, because I always felt bridesmaids' dresses were just perennially either done for an hourglass, but on somebody who was a column, they were terrible. And we were quite obsessed, Suzanne and I, I think, had just written the body shape Bible, or it was, we were thinking a lot about body shape. So I had a spaghetti strap cut on the bias, I had a big shoulder for people with narrow shoulders, straight pencil, and I had an A-line. Wow. And then my little people had a different kind of thing. And then my page boys <laughs> had, uh, and Zach was one of them, and my nephew Richie, the two boys, yeah. he's there with me right now. And Zach is like, I can't believe you put me on this. And he had uh, britches, white stockings, and uh, <laughs> patent black shoes <laughs> with a cutaway tailcoat oh. and a little frock, um, you know, a little stock yeah, shirt. like a little angel. If you've got the dress, why not dye it and wear it again? That is the other thing. I could dye this and wear it again. What colour would you go to? Navy. Navy. But that is a navy coat. Mm. But would you keep it that length? No, I'd have to cut it off. Yeah. So if you cut the dress first and dye that piece... Use the bit that you've cut. To test if the to dye would work. Although I'm sure Lila would love to try that on one day. Would she for a moment? I think for gone. a moment and then yeah. And then it's gone then. Yeah. So am I saving it for this moment she'll try it on and then not? Yeah. I think that's what do people, people do. Do people get married in their mum's wedding Yeah, they do. Or they alter it or, you know, yeah. take the fabric and make it. That sentimental thing. It's going to stay like this. It's been like this for 25 years. It can do another few. And then <laughs> you don't have to just make these big decisions today. I don't know what to do about this. This is Alice Templey and I was looking also oh, yeah. on Vestia Collective because this is the other thing when you look at the money you get. So Alice Templey on Vestia Collective, it doesn't get that much. 
and I loved this. I thought it was just exquisite. Lila would love that. Yeah. And Lila, I think Lila, I should bring it back to Lila. I think she'd wear this now. Yeah. Good. Okay, let's get some wear out of it. See you, Lila. All right. Are we done a rail? Woo! Okay. Next up. Yes. Molly, when did we think it was cool to have these? I'm so sorry. I said those to you and you're like, those are epic and I wasn't sure. Yeah. yeah. Someone will love those. Yeah. Ross and Bromley, I will wear those. Yeah, yeah. but more summertime because I can those. Okay, well, yeah. These, summer? Um, I have these in silver. Yeah. Just not me. I mean, I, silver is me, but yeah, you yeah. feel... This is, I'm Yeah, I think if you're you. not 100%, we've done yeah. quite well. We've got a half a rail already to be sold. These are... <gasps> it's a bubble Elias skirt. Oh, it's just God. so divine. Is yeah. it a built-in corset? It's corset. Yeah. It's a built-in corset. It's kind of like that. But Lila won't wear this. I can now just sit under your boobs. What are we going to do? Am I going to keep this here at some yeah. stage you will? This little Marnie skirt. That's the kind of thing she'd probably cut, isn't it? Or she could fold it to not lose the yeah, bubble. I don't know if she'd wear the... I've got this. I loved... I had a coat that matched this. Could I wear Such that Such a beautiful colour. Yeah. I just head. think it's quite a dated look to it wear. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's going to go. It's going to be sold. This is beautiful. And Lila could wear this. It's this corset. Was oh, this the Thomas. place in Paris? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this place in Paris that I went. But I think for Lila... Yeah. It's yeah, and yeah. that's such a waste to have it here. And she was asking me for corsets, so we're going to keep that for Lila. So we're going to um, let me just put that on top of the slippers. And then I've got here another of these skirts. I was obsessed with these skirts, McQueen. So cool! I love how oh, the detailing and the crisscross gets yeah. so good. I know it's so so, so cool. clever. Do you think I'm just going to keep that for her? Yeah. Okay, this is keeping for her when she's older. That's staying there. All right, shoes here. These are going to be sold. So, Stella, yeah, sold. I used to love these. Do you think they feel a bit dated now? I don't know. There's something about them, isn't there? I think it's yeah. the heel. Yeah. So thickness. we're gonna we're gonna sell that. In fact, I'm gonna give you that to put the stuff we're selling in. Great. Thank you. I just won't wear them. This, they were in a drawer that said for sale. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, these, I think, I should sell. Stunning. But I mean. I don't think How they're high they're are those heels? These are 14 oh centimetres. Oh my gosh, cool. I think they're dated. I love those. Mm. But I don't know if you'd ever wear that height heel ever again. So. Are they 38.5? 39, like, oh, sorry. Sh these are Marnie. I love these. And I think they're still relevant, yeah. that. So yeah. I could wear them now, actually, with a black tight, you know, and get back into that as a moment if I can find some. Yeah. So we're going to keep those. All right. These I'm definitely selling. I'm never going to wear them. They're Prada and they're a bit old fashioned. Mm -hmm. These I'm selling. Why, Trini? Do you just not wear them anymore? I feel I wore these to death as a look, don't you? I did wear them endlessly. Very good neck, though. I know. The other ones are unworn. Um, these I'm definitely going to sell. They're sexy, they're kind of cool. Oh my god, the roses! Yeah, and they're 39. So Lila can't wear them. I'm going to sell them. Sorry, Lila. <laughs> These sell. Yeah. They're McQueen or Elias. No, they're Vivian Westwood. Okay. Sell, 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 sell. I adored these shoes and they are old money and I'm never going to wear them again, am I? A great neck. Because Look how many shoes we're selling. Woohoo! <laughs> these are on rail, but they're very gaga. Wow. wow. Louis Vuitton. And look, I did wear them quite a bit. And they are a 39. They're a very small 39 liner. So I might just, that's a keeping for life. Yeah. These are really old Prada. Oh my gosh. I just, I love this collection. I had so much. Could you wear those now? I think they're gonna look old. I think, do you have the memory of when you wore them though? Because I'm just seeing them and I'm like, wow. Really, you're not you thinking know? they look old? No. No. Okay, let's take them home to work. Yeah. And this is my Fendi moment. Are those heavy? I always yeah, wonder. Yeah, they're really heavy. It's just like an ankle breaker. And they're a 40. Oh my gosh, look at them. them. It's so beautiful. Shall I sell them? Try and sell them. Yeah. Sell, yeah. And these are um, Charlotte Olympia. So cool. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Would Lila fit those? 38 and a half. Oh, Lila! Woohoo! Yeah, keep here. Yeah, keep those. Okay, that's fine. That's just going back in here. Cool. Oh, more. <laughs> Pradas as well. Pradas. Pradas. And Pradas. So when we said yes to keeping the burgundy, 
<laughs> it's got lots of friends. It's got a lot of friends. There were many, many friends to this family. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do because we've gone from the dainty mule to the monolith, which is what this shape is of Prada. And that's like a different, that was the noughties. That was the tent. These are timeless. And oh. these are the, yeah. you know, thing. But that is a more elegant, you know, would I wear that again? The thing is what happened is, you know, the original one was incredibly expensive. June then copied them, then they became high street, then everyone did them, then you just didn't know where any of them were from. It's kind of now they aren't in the high street anymore. Mm. So it's just that's why I've kept them because I've thought one day I just love I remember when this silver came out and I was like oh. Yeah. Do I consider taking them but I mean let's just put one on now and see yeah. how we feel in them, alright? Because I need to just get get a sense of whether I would do that again. I think it's about how I used to wear them, which was with a very cropped, narrow trouser, and then how I could wear them now, that they wouldn't feel that. Yeah. yeah. I think just bring one of them home and then... Oh well, no, I, I think they... I they're think... all coming back. No, they're not all coming back, but I think the black and the silver should come yeah. back. Yeah. Okay, because they're wearing winter. What about the summery ones? Well, I think these are kind of fantastic. Yeah. They're yeah. Washington and they're beautiful. That I should keep both of those. I did get rid of, by the way, a lot of white shoes. No, I was going to say a few more of these have already gone. Oh, <laughs> oh, more skirts. I think we should call them skirts now. Okay. Okay, this is Zach Posen. I mean, Lila could wear that mm -hmm. and actually we could take it up. I'd be prepared for her too. Yeah. That's going to be that. Yeah. Oh, this is another one, Givenchy. Oh, That's a great skirt. Yeah. yeah. Black jumper and this. And tights and tights. Let's just take yeah. that home and think, how can okay. I make that not look like I used to wear it? All right, that would be a real challenge. This is a dress I adored so much and Lila's never going to wear. Do you think she wouldn't belt that? She could. Should we take it back and see? I think yeah. there's a belt moment. Or, or even that it's made really, really short. Yeah. Oh, this is the one Lila would wear now. Little Stella. That yeah. Looks like that short. Oh, that's yeah. so cute. Yeah, yeah. Cute. yeah. so her. her. Oh, this I love. This was Donna Karen Black Label. I mean, would I wear that with a white t-shirt or does it just feel dated? No, that's so cool. I love the trim as well. Take that back in the fold and see if it has a position. Whoa, that was good. I mean, could I be wearing it now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, love, love that. that. I don't know why that's good. <laughs> Trini, are you okay? <laughs> I've been taken out. Um, oh, I loved that. I that. love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Let's take that. That's still wintry. And there's some trousers somewhere that those. belong to it. And I love that. That's sexy in terms of my sexy dating thing. Oh, yes. yes. You know? And also, as a winter outfit, I did like that. Did we like that or is the colour totally wrong for me? I just don't know if it's a little bit like... Granny lady, let's get rid of it, Molly. Oh, look, I love that coat. Oh, yes. 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 You okay. should be wearing that now. Wearing that yeah. What do I do? Banana Rama. What do I do? Is it a weird I length? Think keep that one and get rid of the other one, the shrimps. That. Because you're never wearing that colour. I'm yeah. never wearing this colour. There it goes. See this oh, one, that's a fab one. Yeah, if you want it, guys, best <laughs> All right, we have to go over here because this is winter coats. Um, I've got that, which I love this. Love that. I love, love wearing this. That. I should be wearing this now. This and is... isn't that Zara? Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. So, quite a short sleeve though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it I had a Tiffany cuff. And... <laughs> what if I took Lila off would... the sleeve and make it a gilet? Oh, yeah. You don't have a gilet for leopard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got here my coats from Chloe that Lila wants to see. I love them oh, so much. They're so beautiful. And I just like, they're not. She's already out. got the Prada one coming back. <coughs> this mm. is quite interesting. This is a McQueen jacket in grey. What do That's you think? That's great. That's a good one to show. Part two is trying on some of these things I'm going to take home. What do I do with this? Oh. Do I sell it? It's, quite, it's a weird length. It is, but and it's a weird winter colour that you wouldn't think that colour would be in a fur jacket. I like so it how warm. it's, yeah. It's so I, far. No, I, I like need... it how not Okay, fine. Else so what I need it. to do is I need to style it up, style it up this weekend. It's really you piled got it, girl. up. You've got it. God, no gym tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like this has been a really good progress. Yeah. I think it has been good progress 
Um, I agree with you. I just want to look at one last thing, which is this. There, I'll be two seconds whilst ordering the cab. Oh, hey, more shoes. More shoes. Those I could be wearing now. Yeah. What size are they? 39. I think. Are they wearable? No, I think they're not. Is pinching where your toes meet here? Yeah. yeah, and that also I think we part. just sell them because yeah. I don't think Lila will wear them. They're stunning. Yeah, and they haven't been worn. Yeah. Hardly. So let's sell them. These are one of my favourite shoes. I used to love these so much. I wore them so much. So and cool. white as well. But They're you know so what? Nice. When we're doing, when we're needing something for a very high navy. I don't, you don't have a high navy. They're coming back. And these I love from Prada. So cool. I just don't think you do black with coral. I don't see why, so we're going to sell them. <laughs> Trini, can you tell us which charity shop you're giving them to? <laughs> so Molly and I can go yeah. afterwards. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's so cute. I know. I'd share that with you. <laughs> oh, this is a great bag. Lila will like. I'm going to take that back. I love that bag. Molly bag. Oh my God, these. Do you remember these? Yeah. Yeah, what's going on there? I know, is that part of the What? Oh yeah, it's part yeah, of the design. No, but it's, it's like, so cool. no, but it's like, these should be at home. Wow! <laughs> what a day! All right, so where we're at is we've got a rail of clothes, so we're going to take some things home and style them up differently. Yeah. That could be styling up a very old wardrobe, and we'll do that as a as a sort of part two to this. Yeah. I'm also going to do one about how I prep things to sell on Bestiaire or Vinted, etc. Many of you might be far more professional than me at doing it, but I'm going to give you my little sense of what works. And um, then we're going to take some stuff to Oxfam and I'll probably take it to the Oxfam on Westbourne Grove or Notting Hill Gate, just so you know. Thank you. Um, and maybe we won't take it until this comes out so that you've got a chance to. Oh, yeah. yeah. God knows when we'll see you again when we <laughs> finally <laughs> finished in this run, but it's so cold. My hands, everyone's hands are freezing. Jemima can hardly hold it. Um, to so, cramp. <laughs> darling, get a cab, get home. Molly and I are going to clear up here for a few more minutes. Bye. See Thank you next you week. Bye. Bye.